Nick Hart from Backstreet Boys. Shout out to Boy Band Break. It's Christian Patrick here. Shout out to your podcast, Boy Band Break. Hey everybody, this is Howie D, and I'm listening to Boy Band Break. Hi, Ashley Parker and Angel here. Huge shout out to the Boy Band Break podcast. This is Brad from LFO, and you are listening to Boy Band Break. Hey, what's up? This is Jacob. It's Dan. What's up? It's Trevor. And it's Eric Michael, and it's time for Boy Band Break, baby. Let's go! Oh! Welcome back to Boy Band Break, where we encourage you to take a break from your day and join us in some boy band conversation. As always, I'm Chinzia. I'm Sophia. Uh, Lydia, aka Mama Lou, is off again this week. Uh, she's just having a really busy month, guys. There's a lot going on and stuff, so uh, we're very tired and stuff. So, anywho. Uh, but you Mama still have us, too, so still let's have get us. it going. That what is our episode we're- today? As long as there's music, we'll be coming back again, guys. That's so, right. There you go. Uh, okay, so today's episode, uh, an, a holiday, if you will, just yep. passed in the last few days, last week, I guess, when this would have aired, and this is airing, uh, and uh, happy belated New Kids on the Block Day. Kids on the Block Day. Day. Woo! Woo! So I saw this on Twitter, Yeah. and I was like, this would be a great opportunity to talk about New Kids on the Block. Because we haven't done New Kids on the Block we in really a while. We have not talked about them in a while. Um, so, they... And there was a quiz as well. So I was like, this is a perfect chance to do uh, something about them. Also, uh, as much as we love New Kids on the Block, we were not like hardcore blockheads when we were young because we were our younger. So we're from like the Backstreet Boys in Sync era. We obviously knew about New Kids, but we weren't yes. like hardcore. And I know we do have a lot of New Kids fans that listen to podcasts so apologies in advance for any butchering we're going to do or any terrible results we will come up with with the uh, answers so yeah um i feel like, like my have... cousin my cousin loves them my girl cousin she yeah. obviously is older than i am so yes. that was her favorite boy band she still yeah. loves them so i was like i was like oh I have no idea. But then I was like, my favorite boy band, Backstreet Boys. And then we were like, see, we both have our own boy bands that we love. Yeah, your own boy bands. You don't need to fight over them. It's all good. Exactly. See? Um, I remember. And then we both appreciated both of our boy bands after you grow up and you like learn about them. So, see? See, it's all good. And arguably, um, New Kids on the Block is the boy band that started the new boy band generation. And all the other people kind of look up to them. They're one of the new, one of the more popular ones for sure. Like I think, yeah. I think New Edition might have been out before them, but New Kids on the Block is what most people think of when '80s boy bands things were starting. They're like the big so, ones. So. so Donnie always says New Kids on the Block um, new, is New New Edition is the one that they looked yeah. up to. So, so each yeah. boy band kind of has another band that they looked up to, but for the most yeah. part, the more modern area boy, like our time period, like the uh, Backstreet in Sync, O Town, all uh, ninety eight degrees, they kind of look to New Kids on the Block because they were kind of like trailblazing for them and yeah. getting in the group. So, um, yes. So uh, I figured, oh, it's New Kids on the Block Day. Did not realize they had a day. I am very out of the loop. I signed up for their like. Um, their texting thing so they uh-huh. said like happy new kids on the block day and i was like yes i totally knew this existed did not not know this ha 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 so uh for anyone who has not who doesn't know let's just do a little quick peruse and see what's going on and what new kids on the block day is so okay. i found this article and then we're going to get to quizzes obviously and then you'll see how terrible sophia and i are with new kids knowledge well so, you never know 50 50 chance you know what we could get right yes that's true so who knows feel free to play along when we get to the quizzing part yeah quiz parts all right so uh spoiler alert i have not actually read this article so it's going to be new for all of us all at the same we're time, all learning so. together all learning together uh, so it, this one is from nationaltoday.com, uh, slash new kids on the block day. So, uh, so this is an appreciation post and uh, new kids on the block day was April 24th, 2024. It is celebrated in the United States and I'm assuming around the world if you're a blockhead. So there you go. All right. So it says new kids on the block day is celebrated every year on April 24th. Today, you may be forgiven for not knowing who the famous boy band is. Shame. 
Uh, born in 1984, it is widely considered the godfather of the modern boy band. New Kids on the Block was not an overnight sensation, but its hit album, Hanging Tough, released in 1988, made it an overnight success globally. Members of the band and their music had profound effect, impact on the music industry and paved the way for future groups like the Backstreet Boys. Wow, they really spelt that weird. In sync and more recently, Korean boy band BTS. History of New Kids on the Block Day, made up entirely of young men, didn't exist in the manner defined by the New Kids on the Block, as they were a completely new element in the music industry. Donnie Wahlberg was the first member recruited, accompanied by his high school friends, and for a brief stint, even his brother, Mark Wahlberg. The eventful and final lineup consisted of Jonathan and Jordan Knight, Joey McIntyre, Donnie Wahlberg, and Danny Wood. In 1986, their manager, Maurice Starr, managed to secure them a record deal with Columbia Records. Star had the group rehearsing songs and dances and performing after school on weekends and during school breaks. So at this point, they're all basically in high school, except I believe Joey was still in elementary school, if I'm not mistaken. I believe so, yes. I think he was like 12 when he joined. Yes. Yes. Um, so obviously, yes. So obviously they're not performing during the day. And also all of their fans are also in school. So they would not be like, so the weekends and stuff. Yeah. So, jam, so. Uh, however, their first album, New Kids on the Block, featured heavily bubblegum pop, enjoyed limited success, and was mostly aired in their hometown of Boston. Their second album, Hanging Tough, seemed destined to go down the same... Um, road and Columbia Records considered dropping the group. Surprisingly, the album began to gain traction and it wasn't long before they became the first teenage group to have five top 10 hits from a single album. That's a pretty, that's a pretty impressive feat for sure. It is, yeah. Um, at the height, yes, at the height of their popularity, they were the highest grossing touring group in the US, even bringing Coca-Cola on board as their tour sponsor. I love Coke more than- Very good, very good. <laughs> Do you remember when we were in LA and we did that tour of the stars homes? Yes. And the guy kept saying, only drink the Pepsi. Don't drink the Coke. It kills you. And we're just like, okay. Thank yes. You. Oh my God. Guy. <laughs> Anyways. Not, <laughs> I think not like that's name. all we really uh, took from that tour. That, that saying, because honestly, I don't remember anything else except this man saying this. Like, <laughs> Oh yeah. And then it rained also, we, as well. Yes, that was that was the best part. So we were in like we we had some time to kill because we were gonna go um be in the audience of something and that didn't end up working out. But anyway, so we were there and this guy like convinced Ellen, us. Oh, you actually? No, it wasn't. It was uh Jimmy somebody. Jimmy not found. Jimmy Kimmel. I think so. I think it was. Anyways, okay because it was shooting like that. so we had some time to kill yeah so anyway so we're like there and this guy like we're at the the stars and we're like taking pictures with like the new kids on the block one and in Backstreet boys and in sync and all that shit and this guy's like yes come in this tour so we like go to this guy's thing and he had like an open car so it was like an extended car but it had no roof and we're like oh it's such a beautiful day this is so great blah 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 then he starts driving us around and saying like the most random shit and we're passing other people who have like roofs on their cars, like losers. Like we get to be basking in this beautiful sun, whatever. Halfway through the tour, torrential downpour. Like it's we're like rainy. the clouds are getting darker. Like with I didn't like, even oh, know it was supposed to like, rain. It's like it's like what's happening? And then it was just like like it was a beautiful sunny day, and all of a sudden it was like, whoosh. and we're like, okay. And the guy's like okay, well, I could drop you guys off now or we could finish the rest of the tour, but we're in a group with a whole bunch of other people. So, and they weren't going to give us any sort of refund because of this. So the other people in the car were like, no, no, we want to keep going. So I distinctly remember us going to like Michael Jackson's house and yes. it's just pouring rain so hard that we cannot even see what the hell is going on. And we're just like miserable. So we're like, <laughs> so right. bad. 
And then we were like, what well, do we go straight to the studio? And they were like, oh, we have lots of time. So then we decided, oh, no, we're going to go home. We're going to go back to the hotel, change and go. But by the time that happened, because LA traffic is got awful, we missed the, the filming. Also, we couldn't figure out how to get into the building. And it's, yeah. if anyone's ever been to a studio in LA, they're huge, like several blocks. And you're like running around like an idiot. And then, yes. And then there's fence. There's lots of fences. There was, and like, we're... Obviously, because they don't want refrains yes. getting in. But it was just, like, you're like, it okay. was just a shit show. That day was nuts but uh, yeah there was like no signs to direct you where to go like okay it was, it was not helpful in the least bit. not at there all was nobody to ask either and we're just like oh god so anyways but that really has literally nothing to do with new kids on the block i just the word coke reminded me of that so anyways anyway so back to this article uh, if you've been listening to the podcast for five years and this is how we go once you hear something a word it triggers a memory words. And the tangent just goes on. So it's all good. All good in the hood. Okay. So they, uh, okay, so they brought Coca-Cola on tour as their tour sponsor. In 1992, the group faced scandals and was accused of lip syncing their live performances. This effectively yeah. altered the trajectory of the group. And although the accusations were false um, and the accuser recanted their statement, the following year, the group split from Star. After cutting ties with their producer, they released Face the Music, their fourth album, which failed to gain any traction or generate album sales like previous records. The group were later disbanded in 1995. 13 years later, in 2008, they reunited and enjoyed some success and tours. And they're still together. Yeah. Which is not, that, that really does not explain New Kids on the Block Day at all, so I don't really know why... What a weird, yeah. what a weird thing. But okay, let's, yeah. there's a timeline, so maybe this timeline will tell us something. Uh, new Kids on the Block Day timeline. Okay. 1978, the new edition. Maurice Starr discovers Boston Quintet Group and produces their music, uh, which enjoys great popularity in the 80s. I don't know why it was called the new edition. It's just new edition, is it not? Yes. Ooh, right. I think Sorry. maybe maybe it was from the, in the beginning it was that, and then they took away the the? I don't know. Uh, 1985, PSK, what does it mean? That's good. That's a good question. The first true <laughs> gangsta rap question. song is released by Weaver, a genre of music which would later dilute interest in you kids on the block. What kind of what timeline is this? 1989, role reversal. The group is scheduled to open for Tiffany on a second tour, but after receiving unbelievable support and popularity in album sales, Tiffany ends up opening for New Kids on the Block at her concert. Okay. That's uh, sad 1989. For Tiffany, but that's good. I know. It's kind of sad. like it wasn't the same. I think they, it was mid. I think they did a second tour with her. I think. But oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Open for her. But didn't yes. uh, didn't Lady Gaga open for the Backstreet Boys back in the day? Uh, they opened for new kids on the block basically they lady, found lady, lady gaga, gaga. Yes. lady gaga okay so yes yeah, so interesting so but it was it's new kids on the block. a lot of times um people don't give a shit about the opening acts and it's interesting that every once in a while like they'll like break through and yeah lady gaga is like so so popular after that huge yes uh 1989 lip syncing german r&b band millie vanilli lip sync scandal rocked the music world in 1989 their grammy and music contracts are revoked and places a spotlight on all musicians going forward what the hell what the hell does any of this have to do with new kids on the block day none of so, this has to do with new kids on the block maybe go on twitter maybe the new kids on the block explain why here, there's a section right here that says New Kids on the Block Day FAQ. So frequently asked questions. Are, are the Beatles considered a boy band? What the hell does that have to do with New Kids on the Block Day? Are New Kids on the Block still together? Let's see what they said. Yes. They split for 13 years from 95 to 2008. They are now united and producing music. Why didn't Mark, Mark Wahlberg join his brother in New Kids on the Block? Believe it or not, Mark Wahlberg had the chance to join the group. He did for a few months, but ended up leaving. He preferred a life of crime. <laughs> And thankfully had a change of heart. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. New Kids on the Block Day activities. Listen to New Kids on the Block. Whether it's your first time or you're a seasoned fan, enjoy one of the world's most beloved pop groups and listen to some of their greatest hits. You will love them. That's true. Have a New Kids on the yep. Block theme party. The music is great. You'll want to show off your knowledge of the group. You can play a little Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch too. Get ready for loads of fun. <laughs> And look how talented and young they all are. Go find a video of them performing in the 80s. Joey was only 12 when he joined. Um, 
this article sucks. So I'm just going to close that. So I would go to uh, Twitter because I feel like they would explain it more. No. Okay. Here's another one I found. It was Fox. Okay. News. This has a, okay. So let's see what this one says. Uh, so the moral says, of the story, we should read the articles. We, we should chose. read the articles ahead of time. Yes. Okay. Yes. But one would assume that if the article was called New Kids on the Block Day, it would have information. Yes, right. exactly. That is fair. So this one says, celebrating New Kids on the Block Day, April 24th, it's hard to believe New Kids on the Block released Hanging Tough in 1989. That same year, the governor of Massachusetts declared April 24th New Kids on the Block Day. Okay. The groundbreaking boy band just dropped a brand new single, Love Like This, in honor of their 35th anniversary. And yeah, okay. So basically, is that not the better? it was the governor, which they do not say his name. I thought it Usually, was. it's either a mayor or a governor that gives away like that a key to better. the city or announces why yes. it's the day to celebrate a boy band. So that's good to know. That one was way better than the first one. I wonder if there's anything else on Wikipedia or something. I don't know. Boston Magazine. Okay. Here's one. Here's one that looks like it could be good. One second. Just gonna present this. I could be wrong again. If not, then we'll just switch over to the thing. So this one is called Happy New Kids on the Block Day. Here's a look back at the most absurd dance moves of our favorite boy bands has put out. Okay. Uh, on April 24th, 1989, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts declared this day as the best day of your childhood life, a.k.a. New Kids on the Block Day. Yes, this is a thing, and yes, we're going to celebrate it. While NSYNC was pretty important, and now One Direction is taking over the planet. What year was this written? Oh, <laughs> this was written in 2014. Okay, so this is 10 years old. So, yeah, lots has changed since then. It's important to acknowledge that New Kids on the Block is the original boy band um, that set examples for successors. Uh, so then they're talking about their dance moves. So did we want to see this? Or Not no? really. Uh, so basically, basically step by. Okay, anyways. I don't think it has helpful. to do with that. Day. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry. Um, so basically, the governor of Massachusetts in 1989 decided it was New Kids on the Block Day. Um, Obviously, if you're a New Kids on so the Block I did fan, you know a, this, all this information already. Yes. My question is, yeah. when days are declared, are they just declared for that year or are they declared forever? Well, I think it's declared like, for I that like year, but the fandom makes it forever. And you were mentioning that there's also some other, so uh, Backstreet Boys have a day. Yes, I uh, remember Backstreet Boys and... had a day in 1997, and then they had another, and that was in Orlando, the first one. And then the second one was when they got their star on the Walk of Fame in Hollywood. Yes. The one in Orlando so, okay. was the mayor of Orlando gave them I a found, key to I the city. I found an article of this one. Do we want to yes, see this? Gave them, okay. Sure. Okay. So this is from BSB Fangirls. Uh, from 1996. It says, on October 7th, 1998, the city of Orlando, Florida named that day Backstreet Boys Day. And since then, fans around the world have celebrated their favorite group. And we always will. How do you spell Backstreet Boys Day? Spend it. Uh, it says the city of Orlando is declaring October 7th Backstreet Boys Day in honor of the Tornado Relief concert the group headlined in March, raising $250,000 for local victims of the devastation. Well, not a federal holiday. It is a great excuse to get off work early and take the kids to Orlando City Hall at 4 p.m. on Wednesday to see the Pop Phenoms, whose debut album sold 22 million copies. All five will be there to accept the keys to the city. Um, from Mayor Glenda Hood. Uh, the boys flew back to their home down to help out in a big way after a community suffered the nation's deadliest tornado attack in 13 years. We appreciate their support then and now. So, so that's Getting the a key one. to the city is a very big deal. So that's pretty cool. And it's always just like a ceremony. It's not like the key actually does anything. It's not like it's an open No, it's like, you oh, just look, get you a a big, city, you're just getting so. a big key to symbolize that you have a key to the city. Yes. So I also found that on the Backstreet Boys 20th anniversary 
Two days later, they got their star on the Walk of Fame. So that was April 22nd, 2013. So Hollywood declared Backstreet Boys Day in Hollywood on that day. So yeah. I guess I guess they just kind of make it a day. And, you know, it's a yeah, day. But... I would say, like, um, the fandom is just, like, excited to continue to celebrate these days. Yes. Um, also, when I was doing a bit of quick research before this, did you know there's a boy band appreciation day? I did not know that. Is that yes. just new that happened or just a, a recent thing or that's always been the case? Because I feel like we would have uh, done something about that if, uh, if we, we knew. heard about it. So let me yeah. share this article that I found. So it is on the list of national U.S. holidays. Uh, so it says May 2nd is Boy Band Appreciation Day. So depending on when you listen to this, it will have just passed. Uh, not depending it will have just passed it was may 2nd um so it says boy band appreciation day is a day dedicated to celebrating music and fandom of boy bands fans come together to honor their favorite boy bands and their members sharing memories pictures music and discussing what makes boy bands so special so the hashtag for this is hashtag boy band appreciation day uh it is celebrated annually on may 2nd and i guess the first one was in 2023 or at least that's what this article is showing. So, oh wow, okay, so it's a uh, recent one. Yeah, so it's been a year. More of a recent one. So yes, boy band appreciation. How day, do you so. how do you declare this? Like, who came up with this you day? Know, this I feel fantastic. like we could just declare anything. We're like, it's I boy band it. break appreciation so, day. You know? Now we know like what to do on May second. May second, put in your calendar. We're gonna. We're probably have year. a post on that day now going forward. If we can remember if, and we're not if busy. We remember to do it. You know what? I'm yes. just gonna I'm gonna put in my calendar really quick. Uh maybe Good plan. let's see what year that oh it's a Thursday this year. Boy band day. Boy band appreciation day. Yes. That's exciting. I and mean, you can just we can share our memories of all the boy bands that we appreciate. We appreciate we love them. them all. We appreciate them all. So yes, yes. All right. I have now saved this. It is now in my calendar. I will Excellent. probably forget to look at my calendar because I often forget meetings that I have to go to, but it's there, guys. Anyway. Well, between the so, two of us, I'm sure it could happen eventually that day. It's there. I'm sure other people, I'm sure Boy Man Nicole will probably post about it and other people. So Yes. Spread the if boy. If you didn't band, know, sure now you know. You know what should be the song, the um, what should be the anthem for Boy Band Appreciation Day? Is the is the New Kids on the Block song? New Kids Boys on in the, the Block, band? Boys in the Band. That's yes, right. that is, I agree. That is a, a very good song. song. Uh, I believe Donnie wrote most of it. I don't know if the other guys did. Or yes, I believe but basically, so. Basically, it is talking about all the different boy bands, and they sing it's along. A home, and they, it's a homage to boy bands. Is homage that a word? to boy bands. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. 90 degrees new edition one direction like old town old town all this other stuff so yeah and i what i really liked about when that came out is they didn't really tell the other boy bands that this was happening so like all the boy band love that happened that day when they're all like oh, yeah that's on twitter they were like cute. thanks guys because then old town wasn't sure if they were actually talking about them or not because in that part they're like h town like whatever so they were talking about the different uh B town to O town, whatever. So they're like, "Oh, is that is this about us?" And they're like, "Yes, it's about O town and how a lot of boy bands come from Orlando." So it was like, it was just very cute, and I liked it. Yes. And I Lance thought Bass it was very video, nice, very cute video. So you know what? Yes. That's what we will do. We will share that song on the day if we remember to do it. Yes, so we will share that song. We will share the memories. It's a good times. So, yes. uh, so make sure you're watching, bleh, following us on various social media platforms. Pretty much anywhere you can find us at Boy Band Break, B R B O Y B A N D B R E A K. I don't know why you have to spell this, but it's all good. And we can you can find all those uh, links on our link tree in our bio on Instagram and Twitter. I'm still calling it Twitter. It's I I'm not calling it X. It's weird. Like you still type Twitter.com and go to it. You don't go X.com or has that changed? I don't think it has. So I don't think so. Pretty but sure I also, also haven't really paid attention to. I don't. Yeah. Exactly. Anywho, <laughs> so then you following back, uh, New Kids on the Block. I joined their little um, 
community thing. So I randomly get text the messages text from them. community thing. Yes. So this is what they sent out and I've sent the link. Um, I was really busy on New Kids on the Block Day, so I only briefly looked at it, but have not actually deep dived into this. So I'm going to share the screen here. So if you're looking for it, it is called uh, NKOTB Day 2024.nkotb.com. So it's like an offshoot of their website. So what you could do is that, uh, so it has this really cute little logo. So I guess the main reason is this year was the 35th anniversary. Yes. So correct. that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Which means that, uh, I'm trying to think how old we would have been. You would have been four, I think. I would have been four, yep. So that would mean I would have been seven. So I did not listen to music until I was in high school. So I missed the initial New Kids on the Block day. Um, I know I knew of them because uh, a girl in my brother's class, he's three years older, was very obsessed with New Kids on the Block and had the dolls and the sheets and all that stuff. But I was like, I don't really know anything. And like I said, I knew of New Kids on the Block because of my girl cousin. She had everything, a wallet, you name it, she had it. Yes. So it says, happy 35th NKOTB day. Blockheads, this is the place to be for all NKOTB day activities starting at 10.35 a.m. I don't know if that, I don't know the significance of that. Maybe because it's the 35th. I guess. Uh, Maybe. I don't know. Uh, on April 24th and counting down every hour for the next five hours. So they did a different thing every hour. So let's see if the, oh, the trivia is here. Okay. Um, so they, they released a new song. It's called a love like this. So that's kind of cool that's nice to celebrate. Um, and then, okay. So it says, what does this do? Does this open up a quiz? It goes to their one. Instagram. It goes to Instagram and it has surprises starting in store. Okay. So I'm just going to go back though. Cause I don't want to. I want to see what else is happening here. If I can close this window. Okay, so NKOTB day. So it's like, so those who aren't watching, it's a picture of like, I guess a bedroom. And yeah, a bedroom and an alarm on it. Alarm, yeah. uh, so it says 1135. I guess that's when the new song came out. So there's a click there. Yeah. And then it's like a blue with a hot pink. Uh, so it says uh, NKOTB day Eve. So it says, Blockheads, change your profile photo on Instagram, Facebook, or X, formerly known as Twitter, using the above photo to celebrate New Kids on the Block Day's 35th anniversary with us tomorrow. Then check back here tomorrow at 10.35 a.m. for your next surprise. So then, it, so it's like Aww, a cute little so logo. Nice. It's, it's like a, it sounds like pink. a scavenger hunt kind of way, right? Yeah, that does sound super fun. So there's that. So that's cute. Um, and then, okay, so now we click on the 10.35 a.m., uh, so it says 35 years of new kids on the block day, 35 years of a love like this. The song goes out to you and all the love and support you've shown over the years. So then it has a link that you can watch either the lyric video of the new song, a love like this, or you can stream it. So that was your, that was the first thing of the day. Like, all right, let's start Wonderful. off with some new music, which I think. What a really way good. to celebrate. I love That's that. A great way to kick that off. For uh, sure. A love like this. We love it. Love it. Uh, okay, so then at 11.35, it says, how are you celebrating NKOTB Day today? Make your own video on Instagram or TikTok using a love like this and show us. Don't forget to tag N at NKOTB. And then add a heart. So that's kind of cute. So yeah. they're like, okay, we've given you an hour with this song. Now you have the song. Now you can make a cute thing. So it's kind of like a good little marketing thing too. And like a fun little thing that people could do. So that's yes, cool. getting the fans involved. Always a good way to celebrate. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Okay. So now moving along to the 1035 PM. And this was all Eastern by the way. Uh, okay. So it has a bunch of little pictures. So one says NKOTB day. Uh, and it looks like, I think it's the mayor giving or the governor giving them the key to looks like a yeah. record actually. So it's like a black and white picture of them. Uh, it has a little NKOTB logo inside of a bunch of colors. There's one where it says NKOTB day with a heart. 
and then uh, also another like a square version of the original logo. So it says use these exclusive 35th anniversary GIF stickers on Instagram story by searching new kids on the block or NKOTV. So that's cute. So you can add little yeah. fun things with your memories. Doors. Backstreet Boys do that a lot too to use the stickers yeah. on Instagram story. So that's, that's cool. cool. That's very cute. Uh, then at 135, it says try out the new NKO TV filter on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, and so we can see it. I wonder what the filter did. I don't. I'm really bad. I don't know how things work. I'm to be like, honest, so I didn't like really this. see it on mm -hmm. that instagram I'm sorry look at what happens just curiosity does it do would it still be there though oh it says you have to open it on your phone to see it okay so uh -huh. that's not uh, okay so apparently do that so that's cute uh yeah, and then nice. at 235 uh 806 new kids call us now it's free the celebration has only just started call the new kids on the block hotline at one 806 new kids throughout the day for special messages i totally forgot to do this so we've obviously missed that everyone who signs up for the hotline this week through midnight tonight will be entered to win new kids on the block merch oh well uh so the phone number for that is 1-806-639-5437 so that's 806-639-5437 and it's free winky face uh, it is free for Americans. I'm not 100% sure if it's free for Canadians. I believe somebody had said that it wasn't, but you can still access it. And I'm not sure if you can actually access it from other countries. But this is how I got signed up on the thing the last time they put this phone number up. And I was like, oh, what the hell? I'm going to do it. So then that kind of gets them into the community um, texting thing that they do. So anyways, cute. Um, Has it cost you not... money when if when you look like I can actually phone? check my phone bill. Oh. I'm, I suck at this. But you know what? Actually, I wonder if I can call it right now and see what the last message would have been on it. Hold on one second. Uh, one. Do they do it every day? I think what I, they, they didn't do it every day. I know when they first launched it, it was like every day or every other day. Um, mm -hmm. But then also... It's funny because it shows up on my phone as new kids on the block because it saves it. Why not? Um, but um, I remember there was one where I was showing you guys and like Donnie was just talking for a very long time to his. Yeah, he was talking like two minutes or something like that. Yeah. So no idea what they're talking about. But apparently back in the day, they used to actually have this hotline and it would chart. It would cost money, I believe, to call. Yes, it was. It was. Uh, they racked up the phone bills for parents they, and that's yes. how they got grounded. But also, that's kind of a cool way to stay in touch with your fans, right? You just record this, like, answering machine message, they call in, and then they can hear you, especially back when New Kids was out. There, there wasn't social media. There wasn't, like, you pretty much got their information from magazines or yeah. interviews, and that's pretty much it, right? So yeah, that was kind of like a cool grassroots way. So, okay, let's see what happens Agreed. when I call this number. Everybody, I hope you're having a great day. I just, I can't believe it's been 35. Is it? Has it been 35 years? Can 35 you know years of new kids on the block. Day. What a really great accomplishment. I mean, here we are after all these years. We're celebrating a beautiful day of new kids and um, just the fact that you guys have all been with us for so long and still with yeah. us it's, it it's really mind blowing it it just it it takes it takes my breath away you guys have been the best fans ever and um <laughs> I, i'm I'm a, I'm a little choked up right now but um oh there's there's my there's my puppy Oliver, come here come and say hi happy nko tv day up, uh, he's he's doing zoomies. I just got home from New York, so he has not seen me all the past two days, and he's very excited. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Happy NKOTB day. Okay, I don't know if you heard that. Could you hear it? Because it kind of I like heard a were... majority of it. Yeah. Is it bad that I don't know which one that was? Was that Jonathan? I thought it was Jonathan. 
okay okay i think it was jonathan i'm like it's not as like as energetic as it so i'm like 99 percent sure but i haven't heard him in like a thousand years so i'm like yeah uh yeah so I basically just thought it was jonathan. if you couldn't hear it basically he had just said he had just got back from new york he was wishing everybody a happy 35th uh new kids on the block day and he can't believe that it's been like that long and he got choked up fans. he got choked up and then his dog was there so yeah so that was anyway so if you ever zoomies or something like that yeah so uh yeah there you go so feel free to save that number in your phone if you need a hit of new kids on the block and you want to hear them talking they do change it up every once in a while and i guess on that particular day they change it up many times throughout the day i'm actually curious um blockheads let me know is there somebody who's been recording all of these and putting them up somewhere because that would be really cool to have like kind of like an archive of all of the messages so uh, if you know of someone who does or something, or maybe we can even check YouTube. Maybe it's on there. I don't know, but uh, kind of cool, kind of cute, fun little like interactive messages where you get to hear their voices. So I think that's cool. Yeah. So, uh, so that was what two thirty five, I think. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then and the last thing that they did uh, was the three thirty five, and it says new kids on the block day trivia. Participate in our Ooh. Instagram story and show off your new kids knowledge. Okay. So if it was an Instagram story, this means that it's gone now, right? Yes, just but they offered it on Twitter. But they did it on Twitter, so I do have it on Twitter. Oh, hold on. What's this? There's a new kids on the block day story. Okay. I wonder. Okay, so let's see if we can see what they have here. So it says, new kids on the block day, uh, screenshot the next story and use it as your profile picture. So then they have that. Um, so that was the pictures. They had a love like this. Okay, so basically all the stuff that was showing up on their website, they have as a thing. Yeah. Uh, there was a video of them. They had talking. a video that was cute. So that's cute. They're all there on the couch. Looking adorable. Uh, so then the lyric video was out. Then it's showing, they're asking you how you're celebrating New Kids on the Block Day and tag your memories um, for a chance to win. Oh, for a chance to be shared on the story. Sorry. So yes, yeah, so there's that um then it has some guys just dancing, sharing. pretending to be them so yeah, i think so they're sharing that. the fans doing what they were doing to celebrate yeah oh, cute okay so in conclusion they did not have uh the, the, the trivia there however we knew this and went to twitter so we have the twitter one yeah sorry let me just they double check posted on twitter so the only other thing on this on the uh, NKOTB Day 2024 website is the actual video for A Love Like This. So go check that out. Um, it's the link on YouTube. So I'm going to close that one. And then where did my Twitter go? So now I'm going to go through. So this is the start of us asking if we know anything. <laughs> Let's see how <laughs> yes. the quiz goes. Also, like I, said, I just want to point out. Chance. You never know. Sometimes it's like a 33 percent chance because there's three options for each question. True, that's true. But like I, sometimes when you guess, you can get it right. Yes. Okay. So the, I guess one downfall of doing quizzes on like Twitter, if you do it as a poll, is that it's basically majority rules. So we have no idea if this is actually the correct information or not, but. The majority has voted, so I'm assuming that this is going to be the correct answers. So yes. I will, I can see the answer. So I'm just going to have Sophia guess because obviously it's not whatever, but uh, okay. Right. All right. And it's multiple choice. So I will give you all three options. So you're good. Okay. Uh, in what year did New Kids on the Block receive a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Okay. So your options are 2014, uh -huh. 2008, or 1989. I'm going to say 2014. So 2014 does seem to be the winner in here uh, with 78% of the vote. Um, 1989 doesn't make sense because that's the year they started or, yes. or got big. So yeah, so or that's when New Kids on the Block Day came out. Sorry. So they had already yes. started at that point, but too early. So uh, I believe you are correct. So there you go. You get a point there. Yes. All right. Second question. What was the title? And feel free to play along, anyone who's listening. Uh, what was the title of the New Kids on the Block's first single to reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100? So your options are Hanging Tough, 
step by step and I'll be loving you forever. Ooh, that one is tricky. I'm going to say step by step. So again, I'm not 100% sure because it isn't whatever, but based on what people voted, uh, I'll be loving you forever is actually at 47%, but hanging tough was at 35 and step by step was at 17. So okay. I'm guessing it is I'll be loving you forever. Okay. I... Yeah, no, okay. Sorry, I clicked the wrong thing. Okay. So you have one correct, one incorrect. Sorry, New Kids on the Block. <laughs> That's not bad. Uh, which member of New Kids on the Block has a tattoo of a shamrock on his shoulder? Oh, Joey? Shit. Donnie or Jordan? See, I would have guessed different than what the answer is, but uh, apparently I don't pay attention to these things. Uh, so a shamrock. Jordan? Scene. Jordan? Uh, Donnie is the answer at 78%. Donnie. Joey is 19%. That's the one I would have guessed, but uh, yeah. So, okay. Uh, you're still one correct. Uh, what is the title of the reality television series oh, that followed New Kids on the Block's reunion and comeback in 2008? Mm -hmm. Was it New Kids on the Block, The Block, Rock This Boat, or mm -hmm. The Block, New Kids on the Block? Rock This Boat. Rock This Boat, correct. Because we really watched the episode in watch LA. When we were there for the Backstreet Boys... Um, documentary so much, watching yeah. episodes we should yeah. see if they have it and we should watch and review we should because that's a lot of fun when we do that and i remember us being so jealous they're like how come the new kids fans get to be on this show and then we don't and like have one for yeah. boys and stuff if i recall correctly i believe the episode we watched there was a girl pretending to be like a wait staff to like sneak into the room or something yes yeah so it was quite entertaining it was very entertaining so yeah i definitely would uh check that out okay uh okay before so you have so two, I got two, and two. two and two uh before joining new kids on the block which member appeared in a tv commercial for mcdonald's was it jordan joey or jonathan triple g i'm gonna say joey joey is an overwhelming win at 77 percent of the votes so Right, so that's three correct. I feel like uh, he was young, and I think that's why they chose him. I think he was young, and he was more in like more into like the acting and stage stuff, where the other guys all just went to high school together and wanted to be in a band. So I feel like Joey yeah. had a lot more. It's kind of like QT of together, kind of <laughs> going out and doing yeah. stuff. Because when uh, you think of boy bands, you think of QT as well. Yes, you know, <laughs> he's a cutie. All right. Uh, yes. In what year did New Kids on the Block? Haley year questions. I feel like those are always so hard. So I have three, right? I got three right so far. That's three good. right, two wrong. I think that's a pretty good percentage so far. That's a pretty good percentage, I would say. Uh, what year did New Kids on the Block have two number one hits on the Billboard Top 100 chart? 1984, 1989, or 1999? I can give you a hint. Okay, sorry. Say it again. What year did they have two number one hits on the Billboard Top 100 chart? Okay. Four, 89, or 99? Would you like a hint? Yes, please give me a hint. It is the same year as the first New Kids on the Block Day. 89. 89. Good job, buddy. Four, Woo! correct? Yes. Um, what was the original name of the group before they became New Kids on the Block? Okay, I think I remember this from uh, Kelly Clarkson when they were uh, they made an appearance. I think so. I can remember this. Okay. Go okay. Ahead. So your options are B Nuck, okay, Nuck N Y N U K or Knuck, which is K N U K. I think it's the N one. N it is. Nuck. Yes, I remember this from their Kelly Clarkson appearance. That um, I guess. Ringo, what is his name? Mar Maurice Starr was like, yeah, Maurice this Starr. is the, was like, this is the bad name. And then we're like, nobody can pronounce this name. Nanuk, Nanuk, Nanuk. So then yeah. they're like, okay, let's go to a different name. So yeah, that's why they I called. think that's an excellent choice. Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah. So that's what, five now that you got? Yeah. Woo. Good job, buddy. There's two more questions. Okay. 
Uh, so either way, you're still going to win with more <laughs> than you've lost with. Yeah. Okay. So I can keep my new kids on the block fandom. There you go. Your fan card. Uh, how yeah. many total new kids on the block 1989 trading cards are there in the set? Why? Why is this a question? Okay. Who knows this? Okay, your options are 84, 89, or 88. So I'm going to assume 89 because why else would it be this day if it wasn't 89? There you go. Good job. You're up to yeah. six correct answers. Woo! And finally, whose dog was named Nico? Jordan, Jonathan, or Donnie? Donnie? Jonathan. Sorry. That's, That's okay. Yep. All right. Because I was like, oh, Donnie has so many dogs. But then I forgot that John also has a dog. So we just listened to we the. Listened to a dog. Yeah. Oh, God. All right. So Do I got have... six. You did good. Bravo, bravo. That was better than I... I took the quiz. Okay. So I figured while we're here, um, I think we still have some time. What, what time are we at? Yeah, 45 sec minutes. Okay. I found some random new kids on the block trivia quizzes on um, the internet. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. <laughs> so, um, so I figured we could play the along with this as we do this. So let's see. Okay. What we do. do we have a lot of questions or it's um, like a fair amount? Or? This one looks like it has 15. Okay, so that's pretty good. Time, so that's not a lot. So let's see what okay. uh, let's see what we got, and then I guess we'll just kind of figure this out together. Is it this one? Yeah, that would be delightful. All right, so let's see how we do. Again, feel free to play along at home. I feel like we've done boy band quizzes, but I feel like it's mostly for like general boy bands and general not specific yeah. things on the block, right? Okay. Yes. So I don't think I've done this quiz. If not, that we've already forgotten the answer. So if you see it, yeah, I don't think we did it. It doesn't look like it's a familiar one. All right. So this one is from funtrivia.com and it's called the new kids on the block trivia quiz. Here's a few new kids on the block questions that should be easy if you are a fan. Wow. That's pretty shady there. Rainbow bright girl. <laughs> Maybe we're not fans. I don't know. We'll see. What? Fans, I we'll see so. how it goes. All right. Uh, first question Who wore the overalls in the step by step video? Okay, I don't know. So, our options are Danny, okay. Donnie, Jordan, and John. Sorry, say it again. Uh, who wore overalls in the step by step video? Danny, Donnie, Jordan, or John? Right, for I'm gonna reason, go with towards Jordan, Donnie. You think Donnie? Okay. Is did it give us the answer? <laughs> I don't know. Is this one of those ones that we got to do at the end? Okay. Well. Oh, there's hints too. Okay. What's the oh. hint? Oh. Uh, the hint was not Donnie because it <laughs> crossed it out. Okay. I'm gonna go Jordan. Let's go Jordan. Okay. I'm probably Jordan. It's probably Danny. Who knows? Maybe it's Joey because he seems to be like an overall kind of guy. He was not an option in this list. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. What song was number one on the U.S. charts in 1990? Step by what step. Song? What song okay. was number one on the U.S. charts in 1990? You know what? What if I do this? Hold on. Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. Nope. I'll go back to this thing. Sorry. Okay. And I'll have the answers at the end. Uh, okay. 1990, step by step, hanging tough, the right stuff, or this one's for the children. I'm going to say probably not this one's for the children. That doesn't sound like a number one song. I would say either step by step or hanging tough. Uh, Do you want to go? So uh, we, said, we said hanging tough was released. The album was released in 1989. So I'm going to assume that the hanging tough single was released first. I could be wrong. So I would yeah. I'm good step by step. Are you good with that? I'm good with step by step. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, which one of these songs were sung exclusively by Joey McIntyre? I'm pretty sure we'll be able to figure this one out. I think so as well. Uh, so our options are Baby, I Believe in You. I don't even recall that song at all. <laughs> I'll Be Loving You. Please Don't Go Girl. And If You Go Away. By Joey Please McIntyre. Don't go girl. 
we have this fun tradition when we go to new kids concerts that we like to see how long joey can do that last note and play off please don't go at the end i think the record was like a minute and 40 seconds or something like i think it was like two minutes almost no minutes i don't know something like that i was like okay you really love that note really does yes and for those who don't know i'll be loving you is jordan's song yes yes so there you go all right in the correct order oh this is gonna be hard who sang Step one, two, three, and four, and five in step by step. Okay. Uh, there's a bunch of different orders. I do know that John was last. Yes. So I'm going to eliminate the options that don't have John last. So right now there's okay. two options. So it's Donnie, Danny, Jordan, Joe, John, or Danny, Donnie, Jordan, Joe, John. Okay. So Jordan, Joe, John are always at the end. So is it Danny or Donnie first? I think it was we Donnie. Have first. lots of fun. I think Donnie was first. I feel like Danny's first. Step okay, one we'll is go. we can have lots of fun. Yeah, I think Step Danny two. then. There's so much we can do. Step three, it's just you and me. Step four, give you more. Wait, isn't Donnie? Don't you know the time is? A... Wait, Joe is the. I don't think any of these are right. Step. I'm gonna Donnie go. I'm gonna last. go, Danny. I'm gonna go, Danny. What do you think? Yeah, Danny, okay. I'll, I'll... Danny, Donnie, Jordan, Joe, John. Yes, I, I agree. Joe I... is definitely the third. It's just you. Yes. John is the last for sure. We know that. Joe, we know because that was like a high pitch. Yeah, I thought Danny was step four. I don't know. Wow, we are terrible. Why do why we, we maybe we don't remember? We haven't been to a concert in a while. It's been a few our years. Yes, for sure. well, our apologies. All right. What pop princess did New Kids on the Block open for in 1988? Haha, we will know this one. We know this. Yeah. Paul Abdul, Debbie Gibson, Tiffany, or Janet Jackson. So we're going to go Tiffany. 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 Who briefly dated John. Uh, yes. What and then was... apparently um, outed him, by outed him, but didn't realize. Didn't and then realize John's like, that. it's okay. Don't worry. Like, it's not a big deal. I, he was already outed. Yeah. Good times. Good times. Um, what was New Kids on the Block's original name? We just did this one. So let's see yeah. what options they've given us. So we got Nanook, which is obviously the correct one. Uh, NKOTB, which is still their name. Um, White Kids from Boston. That's uh, that's okay. interesting. Okay. And Funky Bunch, which we know is Marky Mark's. Course. Marky Mark. Wow. So yeah, it's well, the other one, the first one. Yes. No, no. Yes. Or however you pronounce it. I'm really glad that we don't we they didn't get popular with that name because I would not know how to pronounce. No, for sure. Uh well, I guess eventually if everybody kept saying it, we would know, but yeah. Uh what guess, year? Yeah. It looks very much like you remember like um the wonders for oh god, that thing you do, and they spelled it the O'Neaters. Oh they yes, it, yes. Like, they put the number one. Anyways, yes. Uh, what year did the band break up? I feel like we just knew this and I've already forgotten. So 94, 96, 92, and 95. I'm, I'm going to say 95. Yeah, 95, I think. 95, okay. Or 94. 94, 94 was their last uh, thing, their last album, and then they broke up the year after. I remember reading right. it, right? You wrote, said something yeah. like this, yes. Okay, because I feel like their hiatus was 95 to 2013. 2008? Possibly. Okay, what yeah, year? Yeah, it was the... 13 years. So what is 13 years later? 95? Oh, 2008. 2008. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what year did the guys come together as a band? Uh, 86, 85, 84, 83. I feel like we just read this. I want to say 84. Uh... I think so. Okay, let's try it. Yeah. What is the name of the New Kids on the Block's first album? New Kids on the Block, Face the Music, Hanging Tough, or Games? Hanging okay, it's tough. definitely not Hanging Tough or Games. Is it, is it just like New Kids on the Block? Yeah, maybe it's New Kids on the Block. Usually debut albums don't really. Okay. Who plays violin in the step-by-step video? One of them play the violin? 
I, I, I know that's like a dramatic part, but I don't remember anyone actually. Obviously, I have not paid that close of attention to the music video because I don't know who wears overalls and I didn't know that somebody played the violin clearly. All right, our options are Danny, Joe, Jordan, or John. I'm going to say. I'm going to say Joe. Joey. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Uh, who is the oldest member of the band? John, Donnie, Jordan, Danny. It's John, right? John. Yeah, I, don't know why. I wanted to say Donnie, but he's more of a leader of the group. But John is obviously the older brother. So I feel like it was John or Danny, but I'm going to go. I'm going to say John. I John. I feel like John's a year older, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Who created New Kids on the Block? Donnie Wahlberg, Maurice Starr, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis. Maurice Starr, right? Maurice Starr. Like, obviously, Donnie was one of the founding members, but. Yeah. Um. The New Kids on the Block Christmas album went double platinum in the U.S. True or false? 50-50 chance. I'm going to say true. So true. Why not? Uh, who was the first to leave the band? Jordan, Donnie, John, Danny. It was John, correct? John, yeah. John, because of he's having uh, anxieties. Yeah. Um, Mark Wahlberg was once a member of New Kids on the Block. True or false? That's true. Yes. Okay. All righty. All right, let's see the answers. Let's see how well we did. Okay. Who wore the overalls? Jordan. Okay. Yes, good job. Which song was number one on the U.S. charts in 1990? Step by Step. Very good. Uh, okay. Uh, which song sung by Joey McIntyre? Please Don't Go Girl. We got it. Which of these song, um, in correct order, who sang the steps? Danny, Donnie, Jordan, Joe, John. We got it right. Woo! Woo! Pop Princess they opened for in 1988 was Tiffany. They used to be called Nanook. They broke up in 94. Okay, so we were off. In June of 94, 94, 95, yeah. It was was close. We were, it was, yeah, it's all good. uh, The boys decided they had enough and disbanded 10 years after it all started. It's a long time for sure. Yeah. Uh, What year did the guys come together as a band? 84. Uh, Maurice recruited Donnie as the first member. Donnie helped find the remaining four members. Uh, the name of their first album was New Kids on the Block. Uh, the singles were Didn't I Blow Your Mind, Be My Girl, and Stop It Girl. It's like, okay. Uh, who played violin? Jordan. So we were incorrect. Oh. Uh, in the Step by Step video, Jordan has continued his career in the music industry. In 99, he released his first solo CD entitled Jordan Knight, which went gold and platinum with the single Give It To You. That was a good single. Yes, that's oh, a good song. Give It To You. They're dancing at like a carnival. Yes, that's a good one. Yes. Uh, who is the oldest member of the band? John. Brothers John and Jordan were both guests on Oprah discussing their anxiety disorders. <laughs> what does that line have to do with her? Okay, the age, but okay. Uh, who created New Kids on the Block? Maurice Starr. We got that right. When Maurice lost New Edition, he was set on achieving same success with an all-white boy band. Uh, the Christmas album went double platinum in the U.S. True. It Very includes good, songs but... like I Still Believe in Santa Claus, Little Drummer Boy, and original songs like Funky Funky Christmas. And this one's for the children. Who was the first to leave the band? John. Uh, John was suffering from anxiety and decided to leave in early 94. At first, fans were told he'd been hurt in a horse riding accident, but later learned of his anxiety disorder. So that's a weird thing. Why would you that say is that? That's a weird thing to tell teenage girls. They're gonna be like so I'm upset like for him and whatever. Well, oh I guess goodness. maybe they thought a horse riding accident is good because he could be in a full body cast and take some time to recover, and then they might convince him to join the band again. I don't know. That's uh but like wasn't it that bad time? Uh this the the Superman, uh, the guy who played Chris Superman, Reed, Christopher yeah. Reeves, he also <laughs> fell off a horse. He did. When did that happen? And then that was not good. That was like a yeah, bad. Had like spinal injuries. I'm like, that's yeah. Really so I was like, help. yeah. I don't know oh. what year that was that that he fell off the horse. But why would you say that? That's like teenage girls are gonna be like, oh my gosh. I hope he's okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, 1995, he fell from the horse. Okay. Paralyzed from the neck down. Yeah, that's yeah. a really shitty thing to. I get it. I understand that physical injuries are easier to like thing than anxiety, especially in the early nineties. I feel like that's a lot. Yeah. 
you know, they didn't really talk about mental health and stuff back then. But yeah, that's like a really shitty thing to say. So it looks like yeah. they made this fit. They said this in 94. And then Christopher Reeve, it actually happened to him in 95. So yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy, crazy. Yeah. Um, Mark Wahlberg was once a member of New Kids on the Block. True. He was one of the first members, but quit shortly because he wasn't really interested. So that was that quiz. So how many did we get right? Did we get a majority? I think we got a majority, right? Um, yeah. There's one more quiz. give you a percentage, eh? Yeah, it didn't give a percentage. Um, you know what? There's one more quiz. This one says it's only four minutes as well. If we want to try to... Shall we take this one? It's up here anyway. Oh, for sure. Not? Why not? It is called How Well Do You Know New Kids on the Block? We're going to uh, find out how well com. we know them. Created by Olivia Cantor. All right. About this quiz. Listen up, everybody. If you want to take a chance, just get on the floor and do the new kids dance. <laughs> are you ready to break out into a bit of harmony and maybe bust a few moves? If you are, let's take this quiz step by step. Uh, ooh, ooh. The 80s was a time filled with rock and roll. Michael Jackson was singing about Billie Jean while Bon Jovi was living on a prayer. Def Levert was beg begging you to pour some sugar on me, and Prince was focused on When Doves Cry. It was during this time and decade that they coined the term boy band came to life with the immersion of New Kids on the Block on the music scene. Formed in Boston, uh, Massachusetts, in 1984, this boy band was ready to take the world by storm. With five members, they're ready to introduce the world to their harmonies. Releasing their debut self-titled album in 1986, it wasn't until their 1989 album, Hanging Tough, that they shot to stardom. Before their disbandment in 94, the group would release three more albums. Since then, the members of New Kids would reunite and even tour the world with fellow boy band Backstreet Boys. With a career that spanned 20 years and multiple singles, how big of a fan were you of New Kids on the Block? Do you remember the smallest singles like Stop It Girl? No, I do not. Uh, to their biggest hits, Step by Step. Can you bust a few moves and prove you are the ultimate fan? The kids are watching. All right, we are starting the quiz. I, I have All faith right. in this, Sophia. Okay, we got this. How many members this. are in New Kids on the Block? Three, four, five, or six? Five. Five. five classic five-member boy band the five guys are all icons now what <laughs> decade did new kids on the block first gain popularity 70s 80s 90s 2000s 80s because 80s yeah thing the group started in the early 80s but only gained popular popularity during the late 80s okay what is the shortened acronym of the group? NKTB, NKOTBSB, NKOTB, or NBSB? Obviously, NKOTB. NKOTB. This group sometimes goes by this, this nickname instead of the full name. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What? These, this is really easy. I feel like, or maybe I'm going to jinx ourselves by saying that, but uh, what kind this. of group is NKOTB? Are they a boy band, a quartet, a quintet? Or a choir. Obviously, a they're a boy band. band, but they're technically also a quintet because there's five of them. But I'm going to go with the obvious answer. Yes. Boy bands were already popular since the 1950s, but the term gained more currency during the 80s and 90s. This star maker was the one who created New Kids on the Block. Maurice Starr, Maurice Farr, Maurice Ward, or Maurice Hard. <laughs> I literally already said star maker. Obviously, it's star. Maurice Starr. Maurice Starr is a record producer who also managed boy bands in stardom. Yes. And I... Remember we went to uh, the Hang It Tough 30-year anniversary uh, at the Apollo Theater? Mm -hmm. uh, at that time, didn't they say Maurice Starr was not feeling well and was not doing well? Did we ever find out he if he was feeling well? He I think he's still. Did we alive. find out? Did we find out what happened to him? He was. He was. I remember they shot a video because this was at the 30th the anniversary of the Harlem, the Apollo hey, Theater. Tough. That was it. Yes. I guess you didn't. Yeah, maybe so, it went. It froze when I said that. Maybe. Yeah, it did freeze. Yeah, it was just like what? Oh, is that yeah. So I, I said um, it was the 30th anniversary. He's still alive. He's 70 years old. Um, okay, because I remember yeah, he, was, they, like, he had like a video. Come to the event. 
Yes, but they still had a video from him. I think he was in the hospital at that time. Yeah, he was in the hospital. There was a video of him, like, you know, congratulating them on their 30 years of that. And it was, yes. yeah, it was, a, it was good. But uh, it was I good. Yeah. I just remember that. Better, but... I don't know. Yeah. Ho- yeah. I don't, uh, I don't remember if they said if he was okay or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just checking the Wikipedia really quick. He's still alive and doesn't okay. really have anything about personal life. Nope. Okay. No, I just was, I just was wondering. It's been a, it's okay. been some years, but uh, it has been it some just years. Popped yes. in my head that we went that we went to that event thing and we saw that. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Uh, Maurice Starr discovered this group, which was the precursor for his creation of New Kids on the Block. First edition, last edition, new edition, or no edition. Obviously, it's new edition. <laughs> new edition. New edition is the all African American boy band that became famous in the early 80s. In creating New Kids on the Block, Maurice Starr auditioned singing talents from this city. Berlin, Boston, Bosnia, or Bali. I guess you have to have all B's, right? All B's in this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't do any of these other ones. (laughs) Boston is the capital of Massachusetts, in case you're wondering. (laughs) Uh, the first member of New Kids on the Block to join the group was this guy, Danny Wahlberg, which is not a person, Donnie Wahlberg, Dick Wahlberg, or Dwayne Wahlberg. Like, <laughs> this is a little too easy here, but let's click on our buddy Donnie Wahlberg. It was Donnie. Donnie was 15 years old when he impressed Maurice Starr and joined the new boy. Excellent. Dick Wahlberg. Yep. Okay. Donnie Wahlberg pulled in his best friend to audition for New Kids on the Block 2. Who was this member? Donnie Wood, Dolly Wood, Danny Wood, or Denny Wood? Obviously, Dolly Wood. <laughs> All right, Danny Wood it is. Danny to this Wood. day, Danny and Donnie remain good buddies. Yes. One would hope considering they're still in a band together for yeah all right another original member of new Kids because of donnie's connection who was this member who later dropped out continuing with the names here we got mark Wahlberg, mac Wahlberg, mick Wahlberg, <laughs> or marco Wahlberg. oh my god that's so well funny. maybe he's secretly marco but i'm gonna go with mark Wahlberg. mark Wahlberg. mark went on to become a rapper and later a movie star donnie also pulled in his boston schoolmate into the group who was this third member oh can't wait to hear the names here <laughs> jordy knight joey knight jordan knight or jorel knight oh my god who wrote this Jordan also enjoyed a solo career when the group disbanded in the mid 90s. Is the next one Excellent. going to be about Johnny? Oh, oh it's your. <laughs> I just saw the first name, but okay. Since Jordan was already in, he pulled in another member, which will make up the fourth member of the group. Who was he? Jockey Knight. Who? Name their child Jockey. J O C K Y. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay. Uh Jonathan Knight. Uh again, we have a repeat. We have Jorel Knight again. And Johnny Boy Knight. They're trying to trick you. Click because Jonathan they put here. another Jorel in there. I was just like I would I first of all I've never heard the name Jorel, but I also think it's hilarious that they're like, oh, maybe somebody's like, oh, maybe it was Jorel, and now, oh god, they put it again, so clearly this is the correct answer. <laughs> you never know, right? It's trying to trick you. So jo- uh, I can't wait to see what names they have for Joey in the next one. Uh, uh Jonathan is perhaps the only member who didn't really want to have a solo career after they earlier disbanded. <sighs> Yeah, I guess. Donnie didn't release any music, did he? No. He was okay, mostly no, into acting, did. I thought, Donnie. I Danny did. So would I. I think Donnie was more like Mark Wahlberg, yeah. right? But he, but Donnie yeah. stayed with the band to make music as well, because he liked both. Yeah. 
All right. All right, let's hear what we got our options are here. Since Mark Wahlberg dropped out of the original lineup, Maurice Starr auditioned this fifth member. Who was he? Joey McIntyre. Jolie McIntyre. Jockey McIntyre. Why are we using Jockey again? Jockey McIntyre or Jody McIntyre? Yeah, oh my god. I think here. we just like we okay. need J names. Jo- let's just make up J names. Jockey and Jarrell are the two. We should just make a band called Jockey McIntyre Jarrell Knight. All right. Oh Joey god, had so a solo funny. career too prior to returning to his bandmates again in the 2000s. <laughs> All right. Hopefully now we'll have actual questions. Let's see. You Kids on the Block wasn't the original name of the group. What was it? Snuffle Snuffleupagus, the Nook, Redheads, or the Archies? Okay. Did they nobody ask this question or was that the other quiz? That was the other quiz. It's a good thing they dropped this original name and took the name from their debut album. Yes, I agree. Yes, the Nook. Uh, the group's 1986 debut album featured songs of this kind of musical genre. Soda pop, sugar pop, bubblegum pop, or honey bunch pop. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna go with bubblegum because I believe none of these other ones are actual types of music. I agree. Bubblegum pop is a kind of genre associated with boy bands and it started in the 1960s. <laughs> Their oh second album was a huge departure from bubblegum pop sound, the first did. What was the title of this album? The title of their second album was Hanging by a Moment, <laughs> Hanging Tough, Hanging Low, or Hanging. Oh my God. Hanging by a Moment from that light life house. Yes. Hanging Tough, I'm going to go with. It was I released agree. in 1988. All right. Oh my God. A ballad so from Hanging Tough was the group's first legitimate hit. What was its title? So the songs were options are Please Don't Love Me, Girl. Please Don't Stay, Girl. Please Don't Go, Girl. Or Please Don't Quit on Me, Girl. Obviously, it's Please Don't Love Me, Girl. <laughs> I never thought a quiz would be so All right, funny. so Please Don't Go Girl was the song's first. This quiz is ridiculous. This is so, like, okay. And now I feel like if we oh fuck up and get an answer wrong, we're going to be the biggest idiots on the planet on this quiz. Oh, my God. All right. One of the earliest gigs was the opening act for this teen sensation of the 80s. Cher, Madonna, T- Tiffany, or Shanice. We're going to go with <laughs> Tiffany here because we know that's the answer. And she yes. became good friends with the new kids on the block gang. Yes. One of their earliest she, and most memorable was there. performance of the group was she done was in this there at the theater 30th anniversary. Oh, yeah, we were just talking about this. All right. Yeah. Yes, of the Hanging Tough album. So we have yeah. uh, Majestic Theater, Harlem Theater, Showtime Theater, Apollo Theater. So it was the Apollo, Apollo Theater. Apollo Theater, we were Harlem. there to celebrate. 30 years of hanging tough. It was exciting. And then we and then we camped out on the streets of uh, things. We didn't want to waste money on hotels, so I bought New York some City. Apparently that's our, $12 that's our MO now to sleep on the streets. <laughs> Just sleep on the streets in New York. You know, that's how we save money. That's right. Uh, I think that was quite three times. It was a little that. chilly, but you know, it is what it is. Yes. Uh, we had sweaters. We were good. The worst bathrooms on the planet. Yes. It smelled so oh, bad. Uh, the Apollo audience. It really did. Yes, it was gross. Uh, the Apollo audience is known for being scathing, but also very supportive if an act is good, amateur, or professional alike. New Kids on the Block got a standing ovation. So that was a good thing. Excellent. Um, one of the earliest dance hits was You Got It from the Hanging Tough album. What was in its parenthetical subtitle? So, Sophia, you got it. The sweet stuff, the smart stuff, the right stuff, or the cool stuff. As much as the I right. like to be the cool stuff, I'm going to go with the right stuff. Yes. Jordan is the lead singer and dancer in this dance hit 
since the members were also dance performers, one of them took the lead in choreographing the routines. Who was this member? Danny, Donnie, Jordan, or Jonathan? Okay, this one we might actually get wrong because there's no fake okay. names. I'm going to assume not Jonathan. Okay, yeah, I assume that as well. So the previous so question that. said that Jordan was like the lead dancer. Uh huh. Danny or Donnie or Jordan? I have no idea. I honestly don't know. Maybe Jordan. So for you, Frozen, you're gonna go Jordan. I don't know. I don't want to say Jordan Danny though. For some reason, but okay, you know what? Let's. You know, it's solely based. Let's just pick Jordan. Sure. Are you sure? Oh, it was Danny. Oh. Danny's break dancing background proved helpful in creating cool moves for the boys. Yeah. So, I feel like they tricked us. I don't us really know jo- much Jordan about Danny, so that's probably why we wouldn't have known that, right? Yeah. I, you know what? I feel like I have heard this, but oh well, whatever it is. Oh, okay. It is. I so, feel like we know dancing, more baby. about like Donnie, John, Joey, Jordan. Yes. I don't really know much about Danny. We really don't know a lot about Danny. That's true. Uh, like, yeah. He likes to work out a lot and cook. Those and are make the two main things I know about Danny. Videos. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. I wonder if he's still doing that. We should do another cooking episode. We haven't done one of those in a while. Uh, was, I don't know uh, if he's still. Maybe that was just that for like COVID, COVID, was it? Or no. yeah, it could have been just for that. We could check. Uh, the group's third album was a Christmas-themed album. What was its title on this Christmas-themed album? Was it Happy Happy New Year, Merry Merry Christmas, Season Season's Greeting? Odd, odd lang sign. I'm gonna go Merry Merry Christmas, I believe. Yes. Sorry. Let's try it. Yes. Recording artists usually put out Christmas albums like these, which combine their rendition of Christmas classics as well. What was the biggest hit out of Merry Merry Christmas? This one's for the parents. This one's for the Santas. This one's for the ladies. These, this one's for the children. This one's for the children. Uh, this one's for the children. Went double platinum. In 1990, when 1990 came about, this group released a new album. What was the title? Pound by pound, inch by inch, step by step, or six by six. I feel like Inch by Inch would be a definitely different album, but you know, I don't It's guess. definitely something. Step by Step, the release of the uh, kind of more of a porno album. Um, uh, step by Step was the release solidified the group's stellar status at the time. We're nearing the end of this quiz, guys. I feel like they okay. lied when they said how long it would be. So uh, in the early 90s, Worldwide Concert Tour was sponsored by this beverage company, Dr. Pepper, a and Coca-Cola, Fanta. We already know it's Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. It was the Magic Summer Tour for the step-by-step. Because of the group's popularity, this kind of TV show was created as part of their merchandise. A documentary show, a Saturday morning cartoon, a reality TV show, or a variety show. So they have done a reality show, but I believe the answer is Saturday morning cartoon. I think so. I'm going to click it. Do it. The title is, of course, none other than New Kids on the Block. So, yes. I wonder, if they, I wonder if this cartoon is up for us to watch. That'd be kind of interesting to see, too. Uh, yeah. I also had, like, a book that I read recently. It was, like, Solving a Crime or something. It's interesting. Okay. Uh, the group came out with an album full of remixed, danceable versions of their biggest hit. What was its title? No More Games? No more lies, no more kids, or no more blocks. No more games. I'm gonna go no more games. Yes, I agree. I think so. Basically, because we are on, uh, and for those who don't know, no more games radio has us on um, every Thursday at I believe yeah, at two, two o'clock? p.m. Two o'clock. They air old. They will air old episodes of ours. So if you're kind of newish and that it's about two years behind. So go check those out. So that's No More Games Radio and you can get down online. Um, so the No More Games album was a remix album. Uh, Cap- 
is the comp a record company's way of capitalizing on a bunch of songs' popularity further. Okay. The, the early 90s saw allegations thrown at music artists like New Kids on the Block for doing this. So they thought they were either illegal sampling, plagiarism, lip syncing, or mimicking dance moves. We're going to go lip syncing because we already discussed that. Yes. Uh, so in case you're wondering what lip syncing is, a singer can merely move their mouth when they're lip syncing to pre-recorded tracks. This is usually done while performing live. All right, the group's last 90s effort was this album. Own the music, do the music, face the music, claim the music. Face the music. Face, face the music. Uh, the album had a few hits, but they weren't as huge as their earlier efforts, prompting the band to disband. When the group disbanded in the mid-90s, Don pursued this kind of career. Acting, hosting, drag racing, or mountain climbing. Acting. Obviously acting. I feel like Donnie has acted in TV shows and appeared in films. It is but apt that Aunt Donnie ended up getting married again to a TV celebrity in the 2000s. Who is yeah. his wife? Here's the, op Here are the options that they've given gold. Barbara Walters, Jenny McCarthy, or Rosie O'Donnell. That's quite so a, a list of, old of interesting names. To like that is quite the list. I think him married to Barbara Walters would be interesting, but uh, obviously it's Jenny McCarthy. Rosie O'Donnell, that would have been an actress too. and a former Playboy. Marrying a lesbian, like I don't like. Okay, sure, like <laughs> oh, whatever. Uh, so yes, yeah, so obviously, yeah, uh, due yes. to their but early yeah, popularity, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Yes. Uh, so due to their early popularity, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts declared this day in 1989 as New Kids on the Block Day. So we know this. I think yes. Yes, because as uh, you so know, we're this is what we're talking about. Our episode is on today about New Kids on the Block Day. If we got this wrong, that would be horrible. Uh, so it's the 24th. This kind of declaration is done by places that has his own special day. Oh, I did not know this. Did you know that Jordan has a day? I did not know that, no. Um, thanks to his continued success when he went solo, when is his day? February 29th, 17th, 7th, or 10th? I'm going to guess not the 29th because that's a leap day. Uh, I want to say maybe the 17th. Sure, let's go 17. Oh, the 7th. The Boston City Council is the one who declared this day in 2015 as night day. Okay, we got an answer wrong, so we that's not up good. Score here. Uh, we don't really one know the much about those things. Okay. Yes, uh, this one is interesting because we've also already talked about this. So one of the members was accidentally outed as gay by former co-worker Tiffany and, uh, and also ex-girlfriend um, in a 2011 interview, which was the boys, Donnie, Danny, Jordan, or Jonathan. So it was obviously Jonathan. Jonathan. <laughs> uh, Jonathan acknowledged that he's been living as an openly out gay man for a long, long time. He didn't just didn't announce it in the media. So that's why he wasn't upset because it wasn't a secret yeah. to anyone who was friends with him yes knew that after reuniting oh my god, god this is the last one the finally we oh made it the gosh, last question okay. after I was reuniting like, for another go this is like a never ending come back uh, to quiz this is a never ending quiz it lied when it said it was four minutes um yes after United for and uh, staging comeback tours, New Kids on the Block finally got their star in 2014 on this famed Hollywood landmark Grom's Chinese Theater, which is, does not do stars, that does handprints, Disneyland, Hollywood Walk of Fame, or Universal Studios. Obviously, we know the answer there. Hollywood Walk of Fame. The Hollywood Walk of Fame. I love that I'm clicking on it on the wrong screen. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Hollywood Walk of Fame. The boys' star is located at 7072 Hollywood Boulevard, if you want to find it easily. I believe it's in front of the Live Nation building. Yes, it's close. It's yes, yeah, that's right. And then it's by and then the kids on the block. The Backstreet Boys, Backstreet Boys is and Sync are together as well. I think. 
33 out of all right we got 33 out of 35 correct so we great job we are new kids on the block so that's pretty good we missed the yeah. jordan night day it's the choreography one. yes i think that's pretty good so not bad i would say it's pretty belated new kids on the block day uh let us know how you celebrated if you did and if you know of any other boy bands who have their own special days, you want to let us know in the comments uh, what other boy bands have days. I feel like O-Town might have one, but we couldn't find it. Uh, obviously, yeah. we already mentioned the Backstreet Boy one. And uh, yeah, so very so happy New Kids on the Block Day. Uh, New Kids fans, they are going on tour this summer. They also have a new album coming out on uh, May 17th. So keep an eye out for that we will obviously definitely be uh chatting about this album so the yeah. new album is called still kids it comes out on may 17th and then you can just go to nkotv.com to see all of the concert dates looks like they kick off on june 14th in ohio and they're all through the states and they have a couple of canadian dates and it ends on august 25th when's the toronto and one again do you remember uh i want to say august 17th and 18th okay we should probably get i know i'm going with olivia on one of the days but on the other day we can go and if you want to do that yeah so. we should definitely yeah. try so yeah very cool new kids on the block magic summer tour 2024 so uh it should be fun they had a really cute video when they launched the tour i believe yeah. the girl is playing with the dolls and then they're like yeah, yeah. So that, that was, was nice so anyway, marketing new way kids. to do that mm -hmm. So new kids are always fun, always having great time. So there you go. So go check them out. Happy belated new kids on the block day. Yes. Um, hope you all had a great day. And really, um, if you love boy bands and new kids on the block, you really celebrate every day because you enjoy the music every day. Every day is new kids on the block day. So there you go. Yes. All right. And um, thanks for taking a break with us, guys. Until next time. Thanks for listening. Bye.